What's up guys, GK with Corbin's Archery here in Lubbock. Today we're gonna do a little bit of broadhead testing with three different broadheads at three different price points. We're gonna test durability, some penetration, and just kind of compare um, these three specifically um, as they vary in price and as they do going through plywood and stuff like that. Over here we have the Ramcat Diamondback. Um, it's a three blade with an airfoil technology, flies really well. Wanna test out the blade durability. They're gonna be the cheapest out of the three at about $34 for a pack of three. Next, we have the G5 M3, which are just like the old Montex, but these aren't vented. So this gonna be a little bit quieter, still stainless steel. They're gonna run about $45 for a three pack. And then lastly, we have the single bevel, the very, very sharp Helix that are gonna run almost $60 for a three pack. So we're gonna test all these three and uh, take you along the way. Let's see. So guys, just FYI, heads up. I see this a lot in the shop. Um, whether you're shooting a broadhead or practice tips, we always get guys that like to hold that hand out with the fingers out in front, just like this. That's very bad. You're gonna cut your finger off. So make sure that finger stays low underneath that shelf. That way you don't slice it open with a broadhead. This is not a scientific test. We are just shooting these through plywood just to see if we can break some stuff, see which one passes through the best, which one holds up the best. So again, this is not scientific test. We're just a couple guys in West Texas who like to shoot some stuff through plywood. All right, as far as what we're shooting, um, got the Matthews Phase 4, the 33. Uh, 20 and a half inch draw for me. Um, it's right at 70.2 pounds, so it's ideal. Um, we're shooting the same arrow, it's right at 400 grains, so not the heaviest arrow. Um, all the broadheads are 100 grains. They're all the exact same um, as far as weight goes. So everything's the same, just different broadheads. We're gonna test that through this half inch plywood and, and see what happens. All right, first one, we got the Ramcat Diamondback. All these are 100 grain, by the way, guys. Same arrow, same everything. Let's see how this one flies. We'll take a look at it. Sounded pretty good. <laughs> I don't even know if it made it all the way through. No, it didn't, look at that. Stopped right at the veins. Blades are still intact though. Broadhead isn't loose at all. Tip is still pointy. Wow, no damage there, just didn't go all the way through the plywood. So broadhead is still good. Um, blades are fine, there's no chips in the blades. Point's still good. Arrow shaft is good. It just stopped right here at the veins going through that half inch plywood. So uh, decent as far as material holding up. Um, surprised it really didn't pass all the way through. We got a 70 pound bow. So uh, let's try the other two and see. Next we got the G5 M3, which is just like the Montec, you know, the traditional three blade with vents. Um, only difference, this isn't vented, it's more quiet. But let's shoot it, let's see how it does. All stainless steel, um, very, very nice broadhead. Let's see, let's see how it flies through plywood here another spot. Let's go take a look. I don't know if it got as much penetration. Yeah, yeah it did. Running through here. Broadhead is good as far as durability. No chips in the blade, nothing. Really surprised we're not getting all the way through that plywood, but I guess this is slowing it down. All right, lastly, we got the Helix, um, which is a single bevel broadhead, very traditional looking. Um, this is the most expensive, at about $60 for a pack of three. So uh, let's see if this one can actually punch through. Um, all of them have held up as far as durability and not chipping off, so let's take a look. Sounded very ferocious, but look at the penetration difference. I mean, this one didn't go through nothing. All the others are up to the veins. Wow, that's shocking. I would not have bet that. That single bevel really didn't penetrate as hard as I think it would. That's crazy.
That single bevel just didn't open it up wide enough to get, I guess, a good hole going through that plywood. That is insane. I mean, only half of the shaft buried in there. Broadhead's in good shape, still razor sharp, but didn't penetrate like I thought it would. So this was just through one um, half inch here of, of plywood. This was that Ramcat. Um, good little hole there, probably about an inch total through that plywood. Backside's a little bit a little bit rougher, but I guess it's those wood particles coming out. Um, good hole there. Here's that G5 M3, pretty defined blade with the shaft running through. It looks like a bullet hole, it looks perfect. Um, good there, then we got the single bevel helix, which is just a little line there with the hole going through it. So very shocked that that helix didn't penetrate more, but uh, let's stack two. Might as well, we got more plywood. Let's stack two and see what we can uh, shoot through it and go from there. In the video, you might hear me say half inch. This is actually an inch of plywood. Now we have two, so two inches. I guess I'm just used to selling myself short, but definitely an inch plywood. Now we got two, two inches. So uh, let's see what these broadheads do. Just wanted to make a little tip here or something to notice on the Ramcat Diamondback, which is our cheapest. Um, there's some little rubber O-rings that are on the threads itself. Um, out of the three, this is the only broadhead that didn't jiggle loose once we pulled it through. So pretty cool there how that O-ring holds it. Um, see what it does through two inches, two inches of plywood now. Ready, round two with the uh, Diamondback from Ramcat. Let's see how it goes. Not as much penetration that round. Yeah, we didn't even get through, didn't even get through two. Didn't even get through the first. <laughs> so I guess those blades have doled out pretty good. Um, yep, that one's in there. All right, so Ramcat through two inches of plywood. It barely made an addition into that second, but obviously not a lot of penetration. The tip is now chipped off and we got some bending going on in the airfoil here. Blades still look okay. There's maybe some minor chips and this back blade's kind of bent on the back end. But uh, yeah, not much through the two inch there. Let's go test the others. All right, G5 M3 round two, the all stainless steel fixed blade. Um, let's see if we can get some more penetration through that to that second that second block of plywood. Um, 400 grain arrow, it's not a heavy arrow. There's not a lot on the front end, but I suppose shooting 300 feet a second. So I'm, I'm shocked we're not getting a lot of penetration. Let's go to see. That one penetrated both. So we got good penetration with the G5 M3 here. Um, penetrated two inches of plywood. Obviously it stopped it pretty quick, but really impressed with that blade. Let's look at how it holds up. I'm not seeing any chipping. Maybe that tip is slight, I mean slightly bent, but these are resharpable. You could sharpen that up. Everything else looks good. So we got some penetration through two inches there with the with the G5 and it's whisper quiet. So pretty awesome. Let's go test that that helix. Don't have high hopes for this one. All right, lastly, we got the Helix, the single bevel. Let's see if it can puncture through two. Let's see. I mean, I have a barely, you can see the tip just barely sticking out right there. Not much. That is pretty shocking. Um, very, the Helix are a very sharp broadhead, very good broadhead, but we can test here that that single bevel isn't penetrating through the plywood, as well as say the, the G5 M3, which happens to be our winner probably as far as durability and penetration through the plywood goes. Um, all three are solid. 
Really like the airfoil technology in the Ramcat. Helps it fly super, super straight. Um, G5 has always made good broadheads. Uh, tried and true, they, they hold up really well over the end. So uh, yeah, hopefully y'all like this test. This was just a, a goof off, nothing scientific going on. Just wanted to shoot some broadheads to see what they would do through plywood. So uh, hopefully y'all got some good info out of this and maybe some good tips, but uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks guys.